Hi, this is Maya Rahal from Wamda Media, speaking with Entrepreneur of the Week today, Delphine Edde, co-founder and publishing director at Diwani, an online media group specialized in women. Hello, Delphine. Hello, Maya. How are you today? I'm well, and you? Thank you. Could you please explain and introduce quickly what Diwani does? Yes, so um, at Diwani, our aim was to build the largest female audience in the Middle East, which we achieved a few months back. Um, and we, we do that through two main portals, yasmina.com and ailati.com. Yasmina.com addresses the woman uh, through, you know, fashion and beauty topics. So it's the woman for herself, taking care of herself. And ailati.com obviously is the woman as a mother, so everything uh, related to health, education, um, cooking, uh, and etc. So it's the woman as the mother taking care of her family. So when was Diwani first launched? We launched Diwani four years ago. Uh, we all uh, came from various backgrounds uh, and uh, mostly we all came from Europe and we decided that we wanted to do something in our, uh, in our region and we came back with this idea and uh, we started with the entertainment website Wikis and we shifted uh, to uh, women only website because we felt there was, you know, we all talk about the lack of Arabic content uh, it's been, you know, going on and we read all a lot of articles about this, but we felt there was something else missing. It was specific content addressed to women. And when we arrived in the region a few years back, there were already a lot of websites and most of them were addressing men. And we said, no, let's do something for women specifically. Awesome. Uh, can you tell us a bit about how your user base has developed along these four past years till now? Yes, of course. So uh, today, basically, we have 5 million uh, visitors every month across all our properties. And it's divided between Yasmina.com is about uh, 3.3 million and Ireland 1.7 1. million. Um, but what is really important for us, of course, volume is important because we, we, we want to, to, to address a lot of women. But what is more important for us is the engagement we have with these women and the time they spend on our website. The more they spend time, the more they're, of course, they're happy, they're engaging, they're discussing, they're commenting, they like what they're reading. And this is why we created uh, our, uh, our social network, our female-only network called Wayana, that we uh, launched a few months back that is still in beta version. It's to, to make sure women can engage more on our properties and, and stay between themselves. It's something done for the women so they can discuss freely all the topics that they, uh, that they want. And I was talking about time spent. What is important, for example, just to give you a, a few uh, numbers, uh, uh, an average user on Yasmina, let's say, would spend one minute per page uh, four minutes for, for, for a total visit, so four pages per visit approximately. And on Wayana, it's double that time. So one user, part of the, of the Wayana network, would spend eight minutes on average on the website, which is, you know, a lot and which is good. So really, this is what we're trying to build. It's, yes, it's an audience of five million women, but more than that, how can we give them more give them more experience, more functionality, uh, more topics to discuss together. Uh -huh. And do you think the fact of targeting women with Arabic content is the main key to the success of your products? Um, I, think, I think the main uh, success for Dimania and for our products today is uh, basically we have two things. It's a lot of hard work of, you know, analyzing everything that we're doing and, and making sure we're uh, giving the best for our users, uh, the best quality possible in terms of content and, and even development and functionality. But it's also the team that we've been trying to build for Diwani in the past four years. Uh, Yasmina and Diwani is not just uh, Delphine, you know, doing something. We're 140 people today at Diwani and, and really the thing I'm the most proud of 
is the team that we, we built so far. So we could attract some talent, but also we trained a lot of people uh, because we felt the industry was quite new in the region when we first came in. And so, for example, I, was, I wanted to recruit online editors and I couldn't find any online editors. So I had to just recruit people I felt comfortable with, people with a passion, and then I would train them to write for, for an online publication. And, and, and I have to say, today I'm really, really proud of my team. And I enjoy working with all these people and they're all passionate about what they do. And I think this is what does the success of what we do today. Great. These are great advices. Um, according to your experience, what do you think is the status of Arabic content online today? How is it evolving? Um, it's evolving, of course. Uh, meaning we have more and more content online, Arabic content online. But I think it's still a bit amateur uh, in, in the sense that we don't... We see a lot of things that are being copied. Uh, we see a lot of... Um, uh, um, Plagiarism? Uh, yes, exactly. But also we feel like people could do much more. Uh, even for us, I mean, we're, we're, uh, I'm happy with what we're doing, but we can always do more in terms of video, for example. We're launching now a big video program and a lot of video production. But there's always space for better quality of content. So, I think there is still a long way to go to be uh, really excellent in Arabic content. But it's getting there. Of course. Um, so, um, we are witnessing also the rise of many Arabic portals also targeting women in the region. What is your stand on the competition uh, in the region? Um, you'll think that funny, but I think there is not enough competition in the region. I am uh, really convinced that the more uh, uh, the more we have competition, the better for everyone. The whole market needs to grow. You know, there is a there's still a huge uh, gap between what what's today uh, online and what we should achieve. And even if you take the advertising market, there's still a huge uh, progression that can be achieved. We have today approximately four percent of all. Um, uh, advertising spend for online, we should be at 10%. So even for advertisers, you need a, a, a more, uh, you know, a mature market if you want. So this comes with competition. And it's good for us. Like, I would like to be challenged by a lot of people. And I think it's, it's healthy for everyone to have a lot of competition. I know sometimes in the region, they don't really like this kind of... Uh, <laughs> of ideas and they like to be the only one in the market but I feel it's better it's better for uh, first of all it's better for okay as we said for uh, advertiser and growing the market all together but it's good also for training people you know the more competition the more people have expertise on, on what you do and this is good for, for the market in general so I'm for like the growth of the whole online market in the region. And if that means more competition, we're up to it. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, thank you, Delphine Ibde, for chatting with Wamda. Uh, you are co-founder and publishing director at Diwani, an online media group specialized in women. Uh, we wish you all the luck. Thank you very much, Maya. Thank you. Bye.